MDP XP from Miniware. That is a linear DC power supply of up to 30 volts, 5 amperes. It consists of two elements, the display, the display control module, is this one, and the digital power module. The display control module is, uh, has a 2.8 inches TFT screen and it can display the voltage and current waveforms that we will see later in real time and automatically could pair with the up to six uh, modules like this one, the digital power module. Uh, so you could stack uh, several of them uh, like in this way, okay, and you could have five more here and control all of them from here. The connection between these devices is uh, is a radio connection, okay? Uh, this digital power module could uh, give up to 90 watts, okay? And uh, it could be connected to this module or not. You could use it alone if you want, okay? So we will see how to use uh, this one you see you have here three different inputs. These are for voltage. Also this one you could, uh, this, this one is a USB-C, so you could use a normal uh, cable with five volts or you could use this other one up to 30 volts max, okay? So uh, this one is for programming and it, it in fact comes with this one and also to give some uh, power supply to this other module, as we will see later. Okay, here you have a wheel and some buttons and a screen display and the connections. Okay, so let's test this one. Uh, this is the cable that comes with, with it. Negative is this one. Positive is this one. And I will connect these cables to just a DC motor. This is the DC motor, and uh, here I put the positive one and the negative one. Okay, so I have this one, and here I will connect my USB-C cable here. Okay, so now how do I switch it on? Just, I switch it on, clicking on run lock, this one, okay? Let me show you here. So you see run lock, I click here and it just switch on, just that. Okay, and you could see here the screen. Okay, how do I set the voltage? At this moment, this is the voltage and this is the current set, but it is not giving any power until I press run. Okay, so I could just change the voltage, just moving this wheel. Okay, you could see. And if I want to change it faster, I just click set. And when I click set, it goes much faster. Okay. If I want to change the limiting uh, current, just I click set again and I change this one. If I click, it goes faster. Okay. Um, here you see the I is current and V is voltage. And it is off. It is not giving any power out. Okay, it's zero bytes. Okay, so I say like, okay, I want to give up to uh, 3.5 volts. I want to give that voltage, okay? So I just run and it is running the motor, okay? And this is the real current that I am getting. So if I click set and I move it, it change the amperage, the current, and if I keep set again, it change the voltage, okay? I could, if I click set, it goes faster. You see? I could go up to, I'm going up to 30, almost 30 volts, even considering that uh, I am giving just five volts here. And about the current limiting, I will increase that. Okay, this input electric error is just because 
I am not giving enough current here. Okay, so I just run it. Okay, and then is limiting, is current limited, CC is current limited. Okay, the good thing of this device is that you have a lot of uh, security uh, controls, so you could not overload it. That's a good point. Also, you have something very interesting, that is, uh, if you click set and you click menu, just one time, you see this menu, okay, and this is a rapid voltage and current selection menu. You could move to the wheel, so you could say, okay, I want five volts, and then click set, and directly it goes to five volts, okay. You have the typical 3.3, 4.2, 5, 8.4, 12, 15, 18, 19, 24, and 30. Okay, uh, so you could choose whatever you want. Fast way to change that. Okay, um, then what you could do is uh, you could um, get this menu if you click in menu. You get a menu one of five so you have the input voltage that is five volts the input current at this moment is 0 0.23 amperes the input current limit you could limit the input current and uh, the temperature inside the box and here the identification of the device uh, the, the release of the device and uh, and also the the firmware release, the firmware version, okay? Uh, the last thing is that if you click in menu and then click here, just one time, you go to a configuration menu. This is the input current limiter, so you could limit the input current, just go to uh, set and change it. You could say, okay, I don't want to go on over one point, uh, 5 amperes because my power supply could not give more than that, okay, or whatever. Well, then you have more things. Uh, this is for the connection to the other device, we will see. And then here is the sound adjustment, so you could uh, just put it something like that and set. Okay, and that's all for this, um, this power module. Um, just one uh, last thing, this, um, this power module, you could stop that, the output, but you could not switch it off unless you just unplug connection. Okay, so let's go to the other device. This is the display control module. And uh, why I need this display control module? Okay, I connect it using this cable. Why I need that? The good thing of this one, uh, basically, over using the power module alone, is because you have a screen and you could have some graphs, and really that's all. Okay, so you have that connected, and the first thing you have to do, if it is the first time you're going to use it, is to do a bit of configuration. Okay, so now I switch it on. And it says here, press set to auto match wireless address. This is to connect wirelessly this device to this other one. So you just click A, that is set, and then you go to confirm. Okay, and it's matching, it's trying to find a device. So I go here and press menu during a couple of seconds, move to the right and press set. Okay, and then it shows here. So I confirm, and uh, that's all. I just go to wave, and now I have all the information here. So if I click, or if I connect um, both connectors, and I just uh, run, uh, it will show some graphs. Okay, let me show you about this screen. What is in the screen? Okay, for that I will use my nice pencil because this is my pen. 
this is very very small device as you could see okay so what we have here uh, we have here the waveform display area where we have the voltage and the current okay um, from here this is the lowest voltage of this graph and the highest voltage of this graph let me film this okay so you could see it clearly and uh, you see 1.6 volts 4.6 volts these volts change okay so if you change the volts this one will change so this uh, line is always here and this is the current okay voltage in yellow so yellow and the current in blue so blue okay and this is also from 0 0.001 ampere to uh, 0. Uh, 94 ampere something like that so it it really changes automatically um here you have the setup area where is uh, where you could set set your the voltage and the current you want so if if go to if we change the voltage it changes here okay you see so you could use the same controls you had before okay but also you have some more controls okay and uh, this is the input so it comes 5 volts if I would connect this other um, here with other voltage it would appear here and the current draw through here okay the temperature of the device and uh, the the voltage and current the real voltage and current that you're getting and the and the power okay to this output if you have more devices like this one you would have information here so you have up to six okay here you have the time base and you could change the time base just using the well the menu will so if you use the menu will you change the time base you could see the values okay so is that if uh, you want to stop the graph you just click stop that is B it stop the graph you could analyze that you could even uh, save a screenshot of this just click in here in a while this set button so you just click it and says wait screenshot result wave 0 0.b mp uh, this one is stored in the in the memory and you could connect the usb cable to to see the the wave okay okay so it saved that and uh, uh, we could have more things so we click on play and it will continue just showing okay if if we go to detail we see the, the same information but in a table okay so if you have more more devices you would see all the devices from from here and you could modify all of them from here okay so we come back to wave this is a nicer view and uh, then uh, okay you, you could control everything but you could also change these values using these wells if you want to be very precise or something like that how do you do that you just click on modify okay modify and then with this menu uh, well you could move between these two voltage and current and then if you want to change the voltage let's say then you click next next now you have to move the, the position of the cursor so it indicates which digit do you want to change like this one then you could change that from here or you could be very precise you go to the to the this one and you change just this okay or to this one and change higher okay and it's the same for the other one you go back and you come here next and you change here whatever okay and um, okay and um, really this this is all so you could see it's a nice product small and 
very nice portable and uh, you could use uh, the good thing that you could use a normal USB um, power supply that you would have for your mobile phone uh, or you could have a much uh, bigger power supply for up to 30 volts and 5 amperes uh, from here. Okay, so that's all. Thank you. Bye.